note before the video, I um, realized after recording that somehow my desktop audio wasn't working in OBS, so there isn't any computer audio during the entire thing, so you're just gonna have to listen to my voice the entire time. But before that, um, uh, you guys should hit the subscribe button! Come on guys, we're so close to 200, we're like, I don't even know, 28 steps away from uh, 200, oh my god, it's so close, go subscribe, press subscribe button, come on, come on, hit that red button, oh my god! So upon careful review of my channel, what I've come to realize is my recording schedule is hot garbage. And the issue a lot with that is I don't spend way too much time recording and I also spend a lot of time planning and then I don't actually build anything. So after putting it off for like five years, we're actually going to start working on our base. I finally figured out how to make this base a bit easier to work with by actually learning how to um, do, do this. And working layers like this is definitely going to be 10 times easier to do than using what I used to do, which is just have the entire build up and try to do it like that. That that was not... Can you stop? Stop. Ooh, gold. Don't mind if I do. But based on what has happened recently, uh, I went on a little mining trip. All my sheep are gone somehow. Either lightning or they despawn. Though I'm not 100% sure how sheep despawning works. But like I said, I went mining a little bit off screen and I got another like two stacks of diamonds. <laughs> That's pretty much all that's happened. So what I'm gonna do is I have all of the netherrack that I've smelted in these shulker boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start work on this build. I really want to finish this pretty soon. Uh, I'm looking around at everything. There is a little aquarium space up there, which is actually very insane. Saying if you look at NPC's base, he's also got a lot done. And Paper's pretty much the only one recording right now, and he has a bunch of stuff done as well. And I I have a tiny house that I built on my first episode. Wait. Uh, okay, I think what that says is little, little Vaquero was here. This is the only sign. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ah! I think what I was trying to say was I got a couple of things done, and, um, a long time ago when the, uh, Critocraft actually just started, I mean, this, uh, this Critocraft season, of course. Uh, Little Vaquero put a bunch of signs all over my island, so I complained to him. He's like, please, please, no, no, my island's beauty and symmetry. No, stop. And he's like, don't worry, I only put this sign. So now he's going to do that to make sure that he doesn't put too many signs on my island. I I'm going to, I'm actually going to leave that there. I'm going to start work on my base, and I guess we'll do this in the form of a third-person time-lapse. But the plan is for me, I I'm just going to go around, do each layer here so I can get a base of what I'm going to be working on, and I'm going to go up layer by layer. So, I guess for now... I'll see you guys in the time. That's just gone. So I was saying, one thing that I did have a problem with before is the fact that creepers and other mobs would spawn since I didn't actually fill in these floors here. So, we're gonna go ahead and fix that issue, along with moving on. I, I really like these blocks. You know, this is the first time I've actually worked on a large-scale build, I think. Um, I tried setting up a base in <clears throat> Season 1, but just uh, coming up with a base plan was kind of difficult. I tried to make a moon out of endstone. I quickly realized that the scale I was working with wasn't gonna work, so... This is... This is fun. One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Now, one thing I did fail to do is actually uh, put torches on these stone blocks. But honestly, I don't see anything spawning yet, so I think it's gonna be fine. As I say that, I began being attacked by this trident man. Uh, sir? Would you like a taste of your own medicine? Oh, I actually didn't hit him. You know what? You're, you're just dead. 
Die! I kind of want to get another trident, actually. Oh, I didn't get another trident. That's fun. That's fine. Punch. Take take your brother's meat. <clears throat> so just building these took almost an inventory worth of netherrack. So this is this is looking. Oh my god! I'm not gonna have enough. So we've got our outline done, and I think this is gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be a little bit of an issue with these guys, and uh, especially since they actually um, move up and have like an arch near the top. So I'm gonna start with these guys on the edges, which go straight up like this with their pillar, and we'll see how it looks. So you see, those, those these guys are the issues for not lining up any platforms. These guys just spawn and I can't really do it. Please don't get close to me. And you're dead too. And I don't want to deal with you. Anyone else? No? Oh. <laughs> and there's enough. How many of these guys are spawn? Are we on hard mode? That's actually... Wait, hold on. I'm going to check that in a second. But before that, die. Right now, no trident. Are we on- no, we're on normal difficulty. I don't know why so many of these guys are spawning. Alright, so I filled in the pillars, and I- okay. Oh, oh, I like this already. Okay, I'm gonna fill in, honestly, pretty much everything I can. So all of this top platform- actually, no, I won't fill this in yet. But I'll start work on the bottom platforms as well, those. And I'll slowly work my way up. This should be pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, this is gonna take forever. Well, at the very least, this is the general level of each platform. Uh, there seems to be something over there which I have to check out. But it's most of <clears throat> the platforms pretty much go to that height, so I can build up with solid blocks until there. Ah, my neck! There's another- how often you guys spot- I don't even have this out. Dude, just stop! I don't want to kill all of you guys. You guys don't give me it, you useless pile of trident and piece of three pronged. Uh, uh, let me up. Let me up. Okay, I'll just fly them. Oh. Hi. Die, please. Oh, you didn't die. I sort of got. There's another one. There's a. There's a nut. Stop. Stop. Oh, it's a baby, too. Oh, you're just gonna die. Oh, you're dead. You guys just keep dot. Okay, you know, I'll take what you have in your inventory. Thank you. I'll take that. Alright, so I've built these tiny pillars on the bottom. Uh, there's a lot more customization that goes into these pillars than the end ones. So, for example, if I go up and down here, you notice how there's a lot of. There's gonna be a lot of different things in each place. So, for example, if you hop over. Ah! So, like, if you look at this kind of thing. There are different kinds of customizations I'll have for each pillar, and I can't exactly do all of it right now, especially since some of these things are a little more difficult. I have actual mobs in them. So, for today, <clears throat> I'm probably just going to fill in as much as I can, which is just pure nether brick. I'll leave the rest of these pillars for another day. And yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> There's another one! Stop! Stop! I don't like you! You can die- you guys don't even give me your trident! You guys are useless! Oh my god! So now I've got phantoms going after me because I haven't slept in forever. But I have completed a few of these bottom parts. I haven't put in anything in the center yet. But as you can see, that's what pretty much they'll look like. Um, and we're just gonna continue this around the edge. And later when I have some more time, I'll fill them in. C care to stay away from me, guys? I don't wanna- I don't have to do- please, please stop. Stop. So I've been working on uh, building these platforms for a good two hours and two hours and twelve minutes, as far as my recording's gone on, and I'm getting a little tired. Currently, it is nine four seven uh, seventeen for me in, at night, and I don't know how much longer I can work on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put off the project for now. I'll be back tomorrow and I'll continue building this, but for today I'm gonna leave it off here and I'll be back in. Give it a couple of hours, I suppose, after school. So it's the next day and I actually went ahead and got my flu shot as well. Oh, which is always interesting, I don't like flu shots and in about a few seconds my arms are going to be totally up in pain. But aside from that, we actually ran out of nether bricks from yesterday, so I ended up going and stealing from a little Vaquero up there. Okay, no, it's actually fine if you actually scroll up. Um, you can see here, he, he's okay with us taking stuff from his storage system. I only took the netherrack, didn't take anything else, so we're fine. But anyways, after I took everything and I smelted them down, this is what we're left with. And I'm gonna hope that's enough to finish everything off with. 
I kind of doubt that it is, but you know what? I We finished up a lot of these interior parts. I think we're pretty much fine. So I'm going to grab a few more blocks and I'm going to sleep before I start because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some phantoms. There's another one. Why is there? Stop. Stop. I don't. You didn't even drop a trident. I'm so mad. As day... Uh, 11,063 sets on this Curvecraft realm. I must think back on all that's happened. Honestly, not that much. I made a few farms and I built this thing in the first day, so... I, I haven't done enough. I'm, I'm just gonna go sleep and then I'm gonna start work on the base. So I want to start by just going through to all of these areas and filling in as much as I can with uh, fences, so... This is not right. I didn't do this right. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now we're back in business. But what I think I'm going to do is just hop into all of these app. Try to hop into these places with the holes. And all of these holes are supposed to be uh, fences, like that. So we're just going to hop in and decorate like so. Alright, so with that we finished all of the pillar, um, pillar fences. So later on in probably a different episode, I'm going to go in and fill up each of these individually with their different biomes or whatever thing I have chosen for each of these parts. Uh, but for now, I'm going to move up to the top layer and we're going to start working on this layer. There's another- are you kidding me? How many of you guys are there? And you're not even going to drop your tri- You dropped a head, but not- you're so used, I hate you. So one thing you will notice as you head around the base is there are a lot of light sources. And if you head up, you can see not only are there soul lanterns, and shroom lights. There's also some, uh, some of these guys, end rods. And I don't have too many of them myself, but I do know a place that does have a lot of them. So if we go ahead and grab our diamond box, which has quite a few diamonds, uh, we're gonna head on over to the shopping district, specifically to that lighthouse. Now I think this is main, the actual main shop that I buy things from, just because it has actually some quite useful stuff. And provided they haven't removed their um, stock. If we hop in here, just take a look around, jack-o'-lantern, sea lanterns, campfire, and rods. One diamond per 16 items. So that, that's like that. I'm not sure if it went all the way up. We're just gonna do that just in case. We're gonna do that just in case. Um, I don't, okay, we do have an end chest here though, so we're gonna put that down, put all those in there. And we also need a bunch of soul lanterns. So one diamond per 20, uh, 32, so it's over here. I think it was that, right? Right? Yeah, I think that's right. I'll probably need to go ahead and make some more soul lanterns once we get back. But that's, this is, this should be enough for now. Now one issue I did would have with the base is the fact that I, I totally underestimated all the blocks I would need. Uh, let's see, where do I find, okay, we have a few stairs here. I think that's all the stairs we have, so I'm just going to use the rest of my netherrack here to make some stairs. Obviously. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. I guess I'll, pa I'll pause my recording for now. You know, when I started work on this base, I really underestimated the number of blocks I would need. Working on big bases is kind of tiring sometimes. There's another trident man! What? This is like my fifth, not even- How many of you guys have I fought? You guys never even drop your tridents! You're all useless! I so I've got another man in my VC giving me some music, but I just slept to clear the rain, and now that I finished all of our lighting, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna include it in time last because it took a while and I kept going in between this and the base island to buy some lights. But now we're gonna start work on each of the corner pyres, and after that, we should pretty much be done.
it's been a while. Um, thinking back on it, I've been working on this video for the past three days already. So first day we set up the platform, second day we were pretty much working on these walls over here. And now that I think about it, since I have all the lights, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these torches. And third day, today, I pretty much finished up the lights and also set up the pyres. So, <clears throat> that's all I'm going to do for today. Um, I'm late on working on my base, I know that. But yeah, look forward to another video coming out possibly next week. And it'll be, it'll be an interesting one. Without any further ado, <laughs> thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! Stay away from me, stay away from me, stay away, stay, go away, go away, I'll beat you up with my bare fist, I am the strongest, get out, get out, that's what I thought, you wanna fight, I'll beat you up, you can't even touch me, oh yeah, oh, oh, destroyed, oh, there's, I feel like there's an animal, ah, uh, uh, uh. why won't you die, I have punched you more than a, okay, and he's dead.